Heavenly Father, we come to you today with abundant grace and thankfulness for all that you've done for Ashley and Trent. Thank you for bringing all these girls together to shower um, Ashley and Trent as they tie the knot in one today. Lord, thank you for all that you have given them and blessed them with. Lord, we know this is your perfect plan. Thank you for executing it so beautifully, Lord. We pour blessings over Ashley and Trent as they begin their marriage today. Lord, walk with them on their journey and promise them that you will always be there by their side, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. If you know my cousin like I do, then you know her personality is far from boring. <laughs> Ashley is fun, she's outgoing and adventurous, very hyperactive and restless. She's full of enthusiasm and daring, and she's always ready for the next exciting escapade. Trent Andrew Bobing, Twint, Sweetie, Bubbles, Love, Caillou, Best Friend, Baby, all of the names I've called you over the past five years. I think my favorite will be when I get to call you my husband this afternoon. Ashley, Romans 12.10 says, Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. So striving to honor others above yourself is God's command for us to be devoted to. Jesus should and will be the front and center of our everlasting marriage. Looking at the agenda for today, and I, I saw the wedding march in was Beauty and the Beast, and I just started laughing. I mean, I had no idea, so that was a, that was a, that was a nice surprise. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I woke up this morning, and I've never felt the joy I felt this morning. Never in my heart had I been so happy, and it was because I knew my daughter was going to be taken care of that he was going to be a protector and that how much they loved each other after yesterday. The meaning of being devoted to one another in love from this verse from my end means I will always fight for you and pursue you in all stages of life. We should never lose sight of the love we have for one another. Everlasting encouragement, support, trust, love, leading you to Christ and faith in you is my greatest vow to you. I will never forget April 4th, 2017 when you called me and asked me on a date. I was so giddy and nervous. I remember calling Sav to tell her all about you and how different you were than any guy I'd ever met. I was so nervous, but little did I know that that date to Plaza would change my life forever. On May 27th, 2017, I knew I loved you and I haven't stopped since. I prayed and hoped we would be together forever and look what God did. <laughs> You have showed me a love I never knew existed, nor do I think I deserve when I think about the way you love me, and the only thing it reminds me of is the way Jesus loves us. You are my best friend, my rock, my travel partner, the go-getter, the queen of Disney, my challenger, my safe haven. Today, you and I will become one, and that will be the biggest blessing I'll ever receive. Ashley Marie, I'm deeply in love with you and cannot wait to start a life with you to become the husband you rightfully deserve. You keep running after me, Trent. You are a man and a man of God. I thank God for you every single day. I promise for the rest of my life, I will love you, I will serve you, and even when my flesh feels like giving up, I will try harder. I will apologize first. I will never let us go to bed upset. I will never give up on this love and friendship Jesus blessed us with. I promise to love your quirkiness even when it's so embarrassing. I promise to always eventually let you out of the doghouse. And I promise to love and take care of you when you are sick. I promise to pray with you in the good times and when we can't find the words. I promise to eat hibachi every now and then and occasionally play disc golf. I promise to make fall Sundays all about the Saints football. God is our Heavenly Father and I pray our marriage reflects the relationship Jesus has for the church. I pray we have a selfless marriage and to continue our mission 
of being disciples for Jesus. John 13, verse 34 through 35 states, A new command I give to you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this all people will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. From that, I can't wait to see where our journey takes us. And Ashley, I love you. Trent, you may kiss your bride. they have immense fun. They laugh without ceasing and they bring entertainment to every table. They encourage each other to stay free spirit and to trust God's promise. They are brave and courageous. I know your marriage will be full of passion and kindness, consideration and gentleness, and adoration for one another. Like when I close my eyes and don't me to live life to the fullest. She reminds me to stay carefree, to stay young, to make lasting memories, and to make the most of every day. Knowing you and knowing how you love Trent, um, it just, it warms my heart that you get to be with him, that a person so special to me gets to have that special someone just for them as well. Brand new. couple. Ashley's been the light of my life for 24 years and today I hand her over to Trent. I know we'll love her and cherish her every bit as much as I do. A toast to a happy and healthy life full of endless love and laughter. Let's take on this adventure together, praising and serving and loving God first and one another second. I love you.